Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Arif and in this video we're going to show you how to set up FileZilla. I'm going to show you both the server and the client and we're going to start here with the server. So let's go to FileZillaProject.org. Just type it in Google. It'll take you to the site and we're going to click on server. When it's done downloading we're going to obviously click the installer and I'm just going to mark it to say just give me the full install custom everything. Put the path that you want it to go to and then you're going to say, well, just install everything that I need and run this thing when Windows starts. And you can designate the port for the admin panel at this time. You can also do it later, but I just did it now just for the sake of convenience. 14147 is the default port. I highly advise with all the ports on FileZilla, you change them. Definitely don't want to be, you know, having the default ports. And when that's done, you'll install and then you can open up FileZilla. When you open it, it'll take you to this login screen. You here, you can designate the host name, which for this purpose, since we're just running this in our house, we're gonna call it local host, but you can specify domain name if you really want to. The port number, which you would have changed before, but if you have kept the default one, just type in 14147, and then you can type in your password. Once you're done that, hit enter. It'll set up the server. And when you do that, you'll be greeted with this home screen. And now you'll see this message most likely where you have a NAT thing and a TLS thing. We're going to show you how to solve those problems next. We're going to start by fixing the second error, which is FTP over TLS is not enabled. This is a very, very quick fix. We're just going to go into edit, go down to settings. And then in settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to FTP over TLS settings. It's the second from the bottom. Here we are going to have to create a certificate. So we want to go enable FTP over TLS and it's going to ask you for a key. Since we don't have a key ready, we have to generate one. Let's click the generate button and then just populate the information as you would with all of the details that you want included in the certificate. Click generate. And once you've done that, point the directories to where you save the key file. That will take care of the FTP over TLS error warning. And next we need to fix the NAT warning. So you want to go into your router and open up the ports that you have configured for your FileZilla, whatever those port numbers may be. And then you want to go into settings and go into groups. And within the groups, you want to click on this. We want to click on both enable and then allow unlimited users and then click OK. Once you have the groups done, you have to go and make your user settings. So create a user. Point them in the directories and everything that you need opened up. You do the same inside of groups if you want the group itself to have access to particular folders. And once you've done that, that is the whole server set up, at least for your home use. Now, it's not the most secure thing in the world, but it is enough to get you started. And then as you want to lock down your server, you absolutely can. The final little bit of server setup that we have to do is go into Windows Advanced Firewall and we have to enable the ports here. And we're doing this just so that way the inbound connection can actually be established and Windows won't block it either. So go to the start menu, type in Windows Advanced Firewall, click it, and we want to go to inbound rules, and we're going to go new rule, and we want to pick on these options. So port, we want to disable public access, we want to say keep domain, keep private, and then enable the specific ports that you opened up for your server. And once you've done that, click next, give it a name, and then click finished. Now that you've opened up the ports, we can set up the client side. Setting with the client side is super easy. Go back, get the client from the website, install it. Once you've done that, open it up, and we can just go through the quick connect here for now. So in the quick connect, you're going to want to type in under the host name, FTPS colon slash slash, and then type in the IP address for your server. So you want your local IP, not your WAN. Then under your username, you're going to give the username that you set up for that profile, not the group name, but the username, set up the password, obviously. And then for the port, you want to use the port you put for FTP over TLS settings. So in the default, it's 990. Once you've hit that, click connect or quick connect, and it will take you into the server. And if you set everything up correctly, that's how it should go. Now, if you're having any other errors or issues, there are some quick fixes you can find all over Google and over the Mozilla tutorial site. I highly recommend that. But this guide should have been enough to get you up and running. As long as you've opened up the ports correctly on both your router and Windows firewall, you shouldn't have any real issues. Make sure your passwords are correct. And 
I highly advise that you switch out your port numbers ASAP. I, all the data you see in this video has all been changed months ago. This video is about a month old already at the time of this recording. So none of the data I've kept in here is even remotely valid anymore. But just do that for your own security. And you actually have seen the server already in action because the part just prior to this with the Windows firewall configuration was actually shot this evening while I recorded this because I didn't have footage of it and you saw the transfer happen live. So the server absolutely does work. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Ben Arif. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any ideas or comments, please leave them in the comment box down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button or I'm not even going to read the comment. And other than that, I'll see all of you on the next video. Bye.